I, I finally got all my stuff in neat little boxes. Most of it. Isn't that nice? Oh, yeah? I got my mail and messaging, my banking, my music, my dating sites, and my games. Congratulations. You're on day two of iPhone usage. No, actually, I got a Friday. Level, level, I, level of understanding. Sorry. I'm just kidding. I got it Friday. Are you filming me? I'm testing. I got it. Apple. iPod, baby. That's awesome. Oh, no. iPhone. iPhone. Sorry. But I'm going to an Apple workshop because I'm an idiot and don't know how to use my phone. <laughs> Can you hold this? With your, uh, no. What? Oh. There you go. I just want to see how stupid you look because I'm going to be holding that. And if you don't look stupid, then I don't look too stupid. It's pretty, it's pretty stable, isn't it? Yeah, here you go. Yeah. Is that what it's meant for? Yeah, it's a stabilizer. So. You don't look stupid. Good. Thank you. Or I should say. Because the thing here, I'm gonna be up here, like I'll be, whoa. I'll be like doing this. Right up here, right up in here. I should say. No, that doesn't make you look stupid. You, you look stupid. Look stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get it. Sorry. <laughs> no, I had that coming to me. I know what's going on. All right. Hey guys, so uh, I am within an hour and a half of getting, getting the vlog in. So uh, the last couple, the last few hours have been stressful, uh, blessing, uh, exciting, frustrating, all at the same time. Uh, Toby would agree. He's so funny. Let me tell you a couple things that happened. First of all, I have a traffic citation. I have a very bad traffic citation. And uh, it's an ugly one. It is a red light traffic citation. And the court date was May 10th, which is basically seven days away. I was literally within hours of being required to having complete the traffic school online. And I got kicked out of Starbucks and when I got home, I discovered this. It says, we're sorry, Jonathan Davis, your course has been disabled due to inactivity. Pursuant to ACJA 7-205M14, we are required to ensure that you are actively participating in this course at all times. In order to unlock your course, you must first call us at 1-888-329-7069. And of course I call, I get a voicemail. They're, obviously they're only open during business hours. I was just two hours away from the deadline. Ah, so what I have done is I went to the traffic court website, got their phone number, called the court, and got an extension. And now my deadline is June 25th. Woo! Ah, so now that basically gives me all, uh, more than a month to finish this this course. You're funny, Toby. Um, it's all taken care of. I mean, obviously I'm going to have to call that number to reactivate my account. The other thing, the other thing that happened is I was really, really excited about this. So excited that I made a huge, huge pledge and I had to retract. Yeah, because the, here's the thing, I, I pledged the maximum amount and I can't afford it. I, besides the fact that I can't afford it, here's the thing, I am here, I'm on I'm talking to you, I'm on YouTube, um, but the idea was I was actually going to go out to LA 
and meet Dan Doby and um, possibly get him to come out here and, you know, capture me doing my YouTube thing. But you know what? I have a day job and it's not YouTube. And it's just premature. And I just... It was just too premature. So I figure, you know, if I'm going to donate, if I'm going to take as much money as I had pledged and put it into YouTube involvement, there are other ways I can do that. And perhaps to start with, I, I, can ha I should have that money available for the VidCon hotel room. Plus, you know, maybe I can afford smaller YouTube video work stuff. Blech. What do you think, Toby? So I'm seriously bummed out because I had been exchanging emails with Dan Doby. You know, he was super excited originally that I had pledged what I had pledged. And then I turn around and back out. Super tacky. I don't recommend anybody do that. But the thing is, I had the assumption, and it was an incorrect assumption. My assumption was that if I pledge now, and then have the ability to change my pledge later, then surely the people who run the pledge, i.e. Dan Doby, people who are going to be the recipients of the pledge, surely they won't know who is giving what amount. Surely. Until the deadline occurs. Because that's what Kickstarter.com told me, is when the deadline occurs, Dan will be notified of what you pledged. That's what it said. So I figured, well, how about I put this big pledge in and then if Dan has received more than the full amount of what he's trying to get, such that I can back out and he still gets that full amount, then uh, that's what I'll do. I'll just have, I'll just be there as a backup plan for Dan. And it turned out he was immediately notified, so he was all thanking me and saying woohoo, and I have felt kind of bad about it ever since because I didn't, I knew that there was a possibility I was going to end up backing out, which ultimately I did. So, what does that leave me with? I have to make a wise decision. Every single day, I have to take my previous open decisions, previous decisions that are reversible. And, th and figure out today, would it be wise to keep that old decision? Yeah, I mean, I just, I just to think about that pledge money put, in, put into my hotel fees at VidCon and any video work on YouTube and maybe even, I don't know, do something nice for somebody else, you know, maybe do something nice for Dan, I don't know. Or I can take that money, pledge it, and get a little bit of, uh, a little bit out of it because it was pledged, right? It not, it's not mine, it's Dan's. Uh, and he, he, the idea was that he would let me be, a, you know, a part of the film. But who am I? I'm, I'm a web developer. I'm, I'm, I've got sixty subscribers. By the way, this is a snapshot. Uh, obviously, Homebody Buddy is not my main channel. Mister Sim Simi Seventy Seven is my main channel. Um, this channel, Homebody Buddy, has eleven subscribers. And I'm actually okay with that. Every one of you, I know who you are. I, I in most of your cases, I, I have, you know, follow you. Lately, I haven't been watching the YouTube videos of the people that I subscribe to because I'm too busy. But I do, I do follow, generally follow every, your activity of every one of you who are subscribed to my Home Buddy, Buddy channel. But on my Mr. Stimpy 77 account, which is my main account, 60 subscribers. I, a lot of people uh, tell me, I'm surprised you only have 60 subscribers, you should have hundreds. That, I suppose, is where my money should go. And I suppose that if I put my money into that pledge, you know, it would, it would bring traction. People would know about me, people would subscribe to me. But is it a worthy investment? I don't know. I don't know, I have to think about wisdom. What is wisdom here? What does wisdom say? It's a business investment. But am I doing YouTube for business? No, I'm doing YouTube because I'm trying to gain experience learning how to be a producer. And because it's fun. That's it. I'm not going to be making much money, if any money at all, on YouTube using ads. Uh, as a YouTuber with ads. That's not, I'm, not, I'm never going to make... I'm certainly not going to make a living off of YouTube via ads on YouTube. So, at the risk of taking way too long trying to edit this, I need to bring this vlog to a closure. 
This is day two of May. I'm trying to do a daily vlog. For a change, I have been out of, I have not been keeping up my momentum, and I kind of want to remember the vlogging thing and talk to the channel. So, guys, I hope someone out there is going to be at VidCon and know who I am. I hate to show up and nobody even knows who I am. I, I should see Dan Doby there. Hopefully he won't punch me in the face. <laughs> so, good night.